No, no, no! Get away from me! Yeah. Ah! A little elf is attacking me! Help! Help! I'm being mugged! These things, they're all over me! Wait, do they, do they even hurt me? Oh, okay, maybe... Maybe, oh god. Well, they may not hurt you, but bashing your face on a wall certainly does. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we are checking out Exile, a classic game for the Acorn Electron and BBC Micro. And don't worry, I have never heard of those computers either, actually. I just heard of them for this game, which is crazy. I mean, you think you've heard of every, every computer out there, but... The Acorn Electron, I've never heard of that in my entire life. Same with the BBC Micro. I don't know much about them, except that in looking up this game, it looked like they had a ton of awesome old school kind of retro -y looking games. I'm very excited for this one called Exile. Just as an aside, really before I get to anything here, guys, I done goofed. I messed up. I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I played the wrong game. So, Exile, it's in the book, 1001 Games Just Play Before You Die. I looked it up, said it was a space game, everything looked good. I googled it to try to uh, find more info on the game, and I came across a game called Exile, or a series called Exile, started in 1988, uh, and it had games on the Sega Genesis, and it looked to be a medieval RPG. And I was thoroughly confused. I, I read the all the entries, and I, I started searching around on Google, I got very discombobulated and I thought there must just be something I'm missing here. So I decided to hop into the uh, game and, and check it out. And I played an entire Let's Play of the totally wrong game for the Sega Genesis. And I thought I was playing the right one. I have since found out I was wrong. And so now I'm playing the correct game. But you know what? The other game that I played, it was brutally hard. I sucked really, really bad at it. And it was actually so funny that I've decided to release it as a Saturday afternoon gaming. So you have something to look forward to this Saturday. Me doing horrible at a game, which I think is Exile. It is a game called Exile. It's just not the right Exile. So without further ado, you've stared at the screen long enough. Um, let's just check what we got going on here. Here's our status. We are at day zero, hour zero, minute zero, and second zero, which is the very beginning of time. We, we are at the nexus of the universe. We have half fuel. Our pockets are empty. We have no keys. This sounds like me leaving for work in the morning when uh, I've forgotten everything and I have to turn around and get my keys and my wallet and all my cell phone and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hop into this game and start it up. May I use your sideways RAM? What a polite game. Have you ever had a game like ask you if it's allowed to use certain aspects of your hardware? Yes, you may. I enjoyed that game. <laughs> I like that it's, so whoever programmed this game is like really polite. So here we go. Whoa, was it just talking to me there? I think it was totally talking. So one thing I've heard about this game is that it has uh, voices. Uh, it has physics. So this game, the reason that it was so cool, so we're a little spaceman here in this ship here. Um, the reason that this game was so cool is that it had like realistic physics, uh, like Newtonian physics back in like 1988. This was a game that I think like pushed the limits. Oh, okay. We're just, we're, we're totally abandoning our spaceship by the way. So by the, so just a very brief backstory here. We are a dude named Mike Finn, who's the leader of the Columbus force, a space expo exploration organization. We're on a rescue mission. It kind of sounds like pixel junk shooter actually just uh, a little bit, but anyway, we're on a rescue mission. We've got to this planet and our plan is to just like see a, you know, home base we're just like falling to our doom oh my god oh <laughs> he did a little tumble and he screamed oh and and they're shooting stuff at us oh this game is hilarious already i love that your dude oh man we're flying like superman we oh <laughs> i love that your dude like screams and stuff when he gets hurt that is hilarious okay there's a little bomb here i think we're totally gonna pick this up um, I don't know how to store it. I'm just gonna wander around with our little bomb here. Um, this game is awesome. As you can see, has Newtonian physics, and this is oh, what the hell is that thing? What is that? What was that? Oh my God, it's a bat! Why is there always a bat in every video game? Run, run! Wow, what's he doing? He's not hurting us. It seems he's just kind of pushing us around. 
Do we even have health in this game? I can't even tell. Wait, what? What's he gonna do? He's, he's, he's aggressively pushing us. He does not like us uh, interfering in his habitat, and his response is to push. Well, guess what? I'm, I'm a big man. Oh, I like stub my toe. This is hilarious that uh, you can actually injure the guy and like hear him like curse. <laughs> Okay, what are we supposed to do here? I have some idea. I did look up like a little bit about what we're supposed to do. Um, okay, I think now. Will you get away from me, you stupid bird? Oh, God. Oh, you pushed the bomb in the wrong spot. No, pick it up. Pick it up. Oh, we both got killed. You stupid bird. What happened? What happened? Okay. Uh, well, we killed the bird, guys. Good news. The bird is dead. Now it's just us. Uh, that is hilarious. Okay. we It's kind of fun to, like, fly around. Oh! <laughs> He's just dragging on the ground. Um, even if we don't get far in this game, this is, like, awesome. This is... Uh, this feels like a, a mega advanced version of almost Pitfall in a weird way. Like, if you remember Pitfall, it was sort of like a, a forest platformer. And this feels like a more advanced version of that. This feels awesome, by the way. I, I'm totally enjoying this game. We're just going to walk over here. I'm not going to drag his poor body across the ground anymore. But, uh, yeah, this was a, this was a, a, a very uh, successful game back in the day because it kind of pushed the boundaries of what you could do with 8-bit technology. Oh, 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 God. I'm being attacked. Oh, God, I took a bunch of lasers to the face. I don't know if he's like teleporting back or if the ship is just spawning like clones of him. We're going to now go out and uh, complete his mission. But uh, this guy's getting hurt hardcore. Oh! <laughs> There's something so satisfying about just slamming him into the ground at like full speed. I don't know. Okay, here's our strategy. If we can not drag his... Oh, he's like bashing his face and his... And it goes across the ground, getting shot in the face with lasers. This guy, this poor, poor dude. Oh! <laughs> it's like a Three Stooges sketch, only there's only one stooge. Oh, uh, okay, this way. The controls are really weird, by the way. Q and W goes left and right, and P is to, like, go up. Oh, he's just, like, tumbling out of space. This is not a hero. This is a dude. Oh, my God. Okay. I think the bat royally screwed us. Because I'm pretty sure we needed that bomb to get in the ship. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go ahead and quickly reset here. Because I I don't know this game well enough to know if there's another bomb. And I don't want to get us stuck. Even though it's hilarious just watching him like take hit after hit. Oh my god. This guy probably hates me. He probably just wants me to stop playing. He's like, please stop. The pain is too much. Every time I die, it is like a thousand deaths. Uh, I guess, in fact, we can't even go further to the right. So I think we are stuck. So we do need that bomb. Okay. Alrighty, here we are. So there's one other cool thing that you can kind of do is this guy. I will show you guys. So, like, let's say you come over here. Over here. And let's say, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we, we, we come over here. Easy, easy. Okay. And we say, we want to return to this point. You can, like, hear that bong? I've just dropped down. Guess what? A personal teleporter site. I'm like flying around here. I'm like, oh, I want to go back to where I was. Boom. You can teleport back to where you came from. That is so cool. This game is neat, guys. You get to fly around like Superman. You get to like personally teleport around. Oh, wait. Where's that bomb, by the way? Here it is. Um, or is it? Okay, stand up. Get away from me, bat. Okay, hold on. How do I pick it up? Pick, 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 pick it up. Oh, no, I threw it. No. Bat, we're done for. Run. <laughs> God damn it. So we had to reset again. Not a big deal. Not a big setback. We're going to get through this, guys. He's saying, welcome to something something. I can't quite make it out. I'll probably enhance the volume for the Let's Play so you guys can hear it, but I can't really hear it. It's a little too quiet. Okay. We're going to fly over this stupid bat because he's not helping anything. We're going to come here. You stay. Stay the hell away from me, dude. I'm serious. Okay, we got it. We got it. And now... Peace! Sucker! Oh my god, this bat is keeping up with a man on a jetpack. How's that possible? 
How is that possible? Oh, this bat is... You're just going to cause all kinds of problems, aren't you? Aren't you? Okay, we're going to do this. Come on, blow up the bat. Blow up the bat. Oh, dude. I feel like this bat is becoming like a cherished friend. He's like becoming a pet. We'll call him Batty. Batty Battenstein. Batty? Batty, get out of the way. He's kind of like... You know how like pirates have parrots? Well, I think... Can I get these? Okay. And G. G? G? Wait. Get the next one. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. How do I store this? S. There we go. The one thing I find with some of these old games is that they have a lot of different buttons. I think even new games have that issue. And that's kind of why I get turned off of PC games sometimes. Like with a computer game, like an old game like this, it has lots of buttons. It doesn't it doesn't use the arrows or anything. Actually, I think the arrows can, yeah, they can like move the screen around like this, which is actually kind of handy. But like the buttons aren't always super intuitive. Like I know for a modern shooter, W, A, S, and D will usually move me around. But in an old school game, like you have no idea necessarily what keys are even going to be relevant. So one thing... Oh, get up, get up, get up in there, get in there! Yes! <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, God, bash my face on that thing. So one thing about PC games, and especially older PC games, is I find that they're they're not always super clear on what it is that you're supposed to be doing and, and what the buttons are and stuff. And that can make them hard to play. And I think that's why sometimes I'm turned off of trying PC games, because it just feels like it's going to be too daunting. Okay, what do we do here? What do we do here? Should we... Let's just go ahead and try and bomb this. See what happens. What's the worst that could happen if we're like bombing what seems like a power core? Or... Oh God! It like totally he's <laughs> like jetpacking upside down. Okay. Oh, maybe I was supposed to push the gun into that. So there, there's another element to this game, and it's kind of like a puzzle element. It seems. I uh, I have haven't seen too far into this game, but I know that you're supposed to do this. And then, but I don't like know to what end or anything. So, still trying to figure this out. Oh God! I know there's a gun over there. It's gonna kill me if I uh, mess around too much. Shoot. Okay, hold on. Drop back down. Oh, 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 oh! Newtonian physics at play here. Newtonian physics at play. This game also had a tie-in novella, which I guess told the backstory of this game, which is kind of cool. It's kind of cool that even back in like 1988. They were doing like cross media tie ins and stuff. That seems like a very modern invention, but uh, nope, they were doing it even back in 1988. I think even like Wasteland. Wasteland's another great game that's kind of based on like, uh, or it's not based on it, it was sort of the ancestor to like Fallout. So if you like Fallout, you probably would like Wasteland. But it, it I believe, also had like a tie in novel and stuff. Oh man, this guy. This poor guy, he keeps like bashing his face on stuff. Okay, in you go. Something will happen when I put you here. I know it. Nothing's happening. Nothing, nothing's happening. Okay. This may be a game that's just a little too obscure for me to kind of figure out as we go. So we're going we're gonna to play around in this game, guys. I have no guarantees about how far we're actually going to get. Oh, God. Get in here, quick. Ooh. I know how to I know how to get past this thing. Oh god! Oh, it, 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 that thing does not want me opening this door. Okay, okay here. Okay, Mister. Just gonna go ahead and do this. And get the hell out of here! Oh god! Bullets to the back! Oh god! Tumbling. What? I died. How did that kill me? Oh man. Well, at least I opened that spot up for myself. This game does have non-linear gameplay, which I think is pretty damn cool. Also, get this. It has a procedurally generated map. You know, it's funny. You think procedural generation is something that is a modern invention, like games like No Man's Sky and stuff. It's like a procedurally... Oh, crap. Procedurally generated universe, and it's so cool as a result. Procedural generation was a trick that, like, old games used to use to, like, save memory. Like, rather than program in a bunch of levels, you could just program in the rules for a level, which is usually a lot smaller, and then you could let the computer just take care of it. <laughs> just bashed himself on the spaceship there. Uh, so, yeah, procedural generation. Okay, hold on, hold on. It has a few more things. Uh, it has AI awareness that are aware of nearby sounds and line of sight. Um, procedurally generated world, advanced AI, nonlinear gameplay, 
complete physics engine you know this this could be like a modern game if you if you were like heard about like a game on kickstarter and they're like we're gonna have a game where you're like a spaceman exploring procedurally generated caves we're gonna have ai that are sensitive to sounds and line of sight we're gonna have like uh real physics based gameplay like if you heard all these things you'd be like wow that, that sounds so advanced guess what it's not advanced at all guys is not advanced at all. It existed in a game in 1980 freaking 8. Which, again, I'm not saying that to disparage modern games. What I'm saying is, like, I... Color me impressed. <laughs> oh, he bashed his head off this thing. I don't know why it's so appealing for me to see him get his face bashed off of things. But this feels out of place. It's like Roman pillars and bees. Oh, my God. And the bees kill you in one hit. Okay. <laughs> it's poor SOB. He's just like twirling around in space. He does not want to go out under my command anymore. He's like, seriously, I'm done. I'm done, dude. It's it, what the, I like to imagine that he I I have control of his jetpack and whether he wants to or not, he's going to do what I say. And like when he goes limp and stuff, that's him like giving up, but I'm still controlling the jetpack, sending him into the caves wherever I want him to go. <laughs> so uh, okay, now how do we open these? Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! Balloons teleported in and killed me! It's confusing. Um, oh god. Anyway, all I'm saying is like, man, some, sometimes you like stumble across old, across old games that are way more advanced than you think. Like, look at the graphics of this game. Yeah, the colors are a little limited, but this is pretty damn cool. Um, it, like, there's lots to explore. The ships are complicated with different rooms and stuff. I was only able to get in a couple of rooms of that ship up there, but... Oh, God! I'm gonna drop a teleporter point right there. So we can at least get by that if we have to. <laughs> hey, just getting hurt. Okay, that's a death trap down there. Can we get up here? Oh, oof, oof. I think when he's blinking, he's, like, severely hurt. But it doesn't bother me. I don't care if this. Whoa! What, what's down here? Oh my god, there's like a ship over here. Wait, and there's there's stuff over here. Oh my god. Look at this. There's so much to explore. There's so much to explore. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, don't go that way. That's a bad way to go. I don't know. It like threw something at me. Oh god. <laughs> I'm just like falling down. Oh, I exploded. Okay. Oh, oh, he looks so hurt. They drop another teleporter thing there. Okay, I can't go in there. I, I feel like I'm just going to kind of explore around this game. I probably am not going to really get much done, to be honest, because I think I would honestly have to watch a walkthrough. Oh, God, balloons are chasing me. Get out of here. <laughs> Damn it. I'd honestly have to watch a walkthrough to, like, see how I'm supposed to play this game. But, oh, man, he he's, like, given up on life. He's just like a rag doll. He's like, fine, Jay. You control the jetpack. Just take me to my death. I'm just, uh, I'm just meat to you. Yeah, let's see what's over here. Oh, 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 there's another ship. Oh, and more bats. Huh. Th this, I mean, the graphics look so cool. I I'm really, I've never been so impressed by a game where, like, I, I haven't known what to do and I haven't really been that good at the game, but I'm, like, just impressed by, like, the environment. This is, like, look how much there is to explore, guys. This is so cool. Um, I wish I could get a gun. That's what I really wish. Oh, poor guy. Oh, oh, the bat saved him. Oh, he's like upside down now. I think he's unconscious. <laughs> oh, it's just amusing. He's he's literally become a ragdoll. I think I think he's technically dead. I think uh, he's just literally a limp corpse with like a remote controlled jetpack on. He's like a human drone at this point. I now have control of him. Let's see how far this goes. Let's just get, let's just fall and see like what we find. Let him tumble his way down. This is how real people explore. They just tumble themselves down a giant hole. <laughs> this guy <laughs> He's getting worse and worse. This this is awesome. <laughs> Somebody should make an indie game where it is literally like battered astronaut or something and you just have to like tumble a guy down a giant hole with like random obstacles and see how far down you can get that would be awesome but yeah i color me impressed i mean this it just seems like oh here's a bomb just seems like there's so much that you could explore here okay 
I know I do want to pick these up and store it. Good. Okay, we, we did something. We got a bomb. Now we're gonna now we're gonna go over here. We're in the land of yellow. I don't know if I can stand on this stuff. Apparently I can. Oh no 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 no. Damn it. Oh, and I'm back in the spaceship. Interesting. Why am I like blinking so much? Is that just like the natural way of things or is it a bad sign? Wait, can I can I get out of here? Let me out. Let me out. Wait, it's trapping me. What the Okay, fine. Uh I got just a thing for this. Uh there's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to go. This was poorly thought out. Oh. So much pain. <laughs> Maybe he's like a clone. Maybe every time he dies, it's just like a clone. Oh, there we go. I don't know why the door didn't open that one time. I had to waste a grenade. Whee! <laughs> Tumble. That was far too amusing to watch this guy die. Oh, God. Okay, hold on. How do we kill that thing? Alrighty, so I looked it up, and apparently we're supposed to try to get a hold of a cup that we can hold water in, and then we kind of put out fires until we get access to... Oh, God. Stay away from me. Stay away from me until we get access to um, a green key card, which we can then use to get a pistol. I would like to at least see the pistol in this game. So let's let's go ahead and like actually give that a, a bit of a try. So I think it's over here. Oh, God, I'm like bashing my head everywhere. I'm actually going to try for a second here. But what do you guys think of this game so far? Like, are you, are you on board with me? We're like, yes, OK, it, it is. It is objectively a primitive game. Um, but, I mean, for when it came out in 1988, it's pretty damn neat, I think. Like, what, what do you guys think? Do you agree with me on that? Or, or is Jay just totally, like, off his meds here? Am, am I, like, totally crazy? Okay, I think I gotta go up. I think I gotta go up. Yes. Oh, and then we... Okay, then we grab this thing and then run like hell, I think. Okay, hold on. Let's get ready here. Oh god. Grab this thing. And we get the hell out of here. No! No! We're doomed! We're doomed! It was a trap! It was a trap all along! Oh no! Stay away from me! <laughs> Damn it. Apparently the in-game reason for why you never die in this game is that your space shoot your, your space suit contains a sensor. When you're about to die, it teleports you away. So you never technically die in this game. Um, and the space suit also contains the ability to regenerate your health. So there is no death, just horrible, horrible pain. Oh, no. Stay away from evil ball. Evil ball, go away. I wished it away, guys. Wishing works sometimes. Oh, I think he's, he's like, jammed his leg into the wall there as he was falling out. Oh, there goes his face, his head. Oh, man. I love that this guy, like, kind of shouts out expletives when he gets hurt anywho yeah what do you guys think of this like and and were you guys into like finding games that had really neat exploration aspects to them as a kid i loved doing that as a kid I, it was always a huge deal to me when i tr uh, tried to play a game and it had just like tons of awesome exploration if i had loaded this game up when i was a kid i would have gone crazy for it ah oh, crap Okay, well, I'm dead. Go ahead and feast on my bones, you stupid bees. But I will be back, and I'm gonna get that glass. We're gonna have, we're gonna have a party with it, man. Try, mark my words. Okay, how do I get out of here? Oh shoot! It hurt us. Run! Oh god! Oh! Bullet to the face. Oh god! Oh god! Accelerate down! Accelerate down! Okay, now accelerate up. Accelerate up, 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 up. Easy, easy. Okay, we're doing good. Oh. Oh god, what are those things? Oh my god, what are they? Go, go down! Oh god, they look like weird little gremlins. We're so close to getting this cup. Oh, oh, they're chasing us! Life's gonna be good once we have the cup, trust me. Okay. Okay. Here we go. 
Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, no! We're trapped with the bees! Not the bees! Not the bees! Ugh, there's like a dragon's head like you're watching me. All right. I, uh, I don't know if I know, I don't know if I have it in me to get the cup out of here. But long story short, let me, let me at least show you what you're supposed to do. Maybe someone better than me can figure it out. Oh god, if I can like get out of the aircraft without severely injuring myself. Okay, so if you do decide that you want to play this game, after you get into the caves down here, <laughs> like this, this is how you do it. Tumble your way down, oh, and get exploded. Uh... Oh, God. <laughs> the animation in this is, like, pretty damn impressive, I gotta say. Uh, impressive and amusing. I, I really want to know what this guy's story is down here. Like, why is he just waiting in a cave? If, if he's, like, willing to sell me something, if his thing is, like, it's a store or something, that's the worst place to set up a store. He better be, like, a kidnapped dude. And actually, now that I look at his face and my face, it looks like we're kind of like Lego head people who have sunglasses on. Like, don't we look, it, don't I look like one of the Lego head people from like Lego movie or something? Have the little like bump in the middle of my head, like very non-distinct features. Oh God, oh, oh God, oh, flee, 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 get out of here. Oh my God, I can't believe we survived. Set up a teleportation site there. Oh man, <gasps> wait, could I just teleport out? Okay, one, one more chance, oh God. One, one more chance to try to uh, get that cup. Oh my god, these things, they're just gonna like kill the crap out of me. Oh no, I'm back in the ship. I feel like I'm doing worse and worse the longer this game goes on. I'm having like visions of the other Exile game that I played on Sega Genesis, which you'll be able to check out on Saturday and see just how bad I did. I actually did way worse in that game than I'm doing right now, so. Uh, it's some consolation. No, no, no! Get away from me! Yeah! Ah! A, a little elf is attacking me! Help! Help! I'm being mugged! These things, they're all over me! Wait, do they, do they even hurt me? Oh, okay, maybe... Maybe, oh god! Bashing your face on a wall certainly hurts. Okay, they don't seem to do anything, actually. Oh, wait, go up, go up, go up, go up. <laughs> okay. Oh god. Okay. Here's my pro strat. I'm going to leave a personal teleportation thing right there. I'm going to pick this up, and then I'm going to teleport the hell out of here. This is going to work, guys. Oh, I can't teleport with this thing. It won't let me. Oh, God. Fly! No! Not again! Ah, oh, you jerks! Ah, fall into my death. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Get, get, get the hell off me. Okay, so turns out that it's just not possible for me. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Clearly something. Um, God, get off of me. Ah! Get away from me. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Ah, let me through. God, you stupid birds. Oh, my God. I, I can't get out of here. Okay, hold on. Maybe I can move the screen. Okay, there you go. Oh, look, they're just lifting me out once I stop trying to do anything. Okay, so I don't know what's happening over there. To my left here, you see that pyre right there? Um, I'm, I'm totally getting mugged, by the way. That pyre there, you're supposed to bring that cup. You're supposed to go fill it with water in that area where I found water. Dump it in there. Let it turn, like, put out the fire. And in there, you'll see there's a little green thing to the left of the pyre. There is a key that will let you open green doors. So there you go. If you are so inclined to play this game, uh, that is how you kind of get past this first segment. But my god, this is brutal. <laughs> uh, and then I guess you can go in this green door here and then probably kill a robot and get a gun and stuff. Life would be good. Oh god. Oh, I'm like stunned. Oh, I can't use my jetpack. It's not working. Ah, run, run. Run with your legs! Whoa! <laughs> there we go. Oh! <laughs> well, what have we learned here today, guys? I think we've learned that Gaming J makes a terrible spaceman. 
he also makes a terrible commander. So if you ever find yourself under his command and he has remote control of your jetpack, be afraid because this will happen to you. What you're seeing on screen right now, that will literally happen to you. And that doesn't look like fun for anyone. I think we have also learned that uh, Exile here was a game that was way ahead of its time. Procedurally generated maze levels, although I, I don't know if we ever got to any of that, but I, I've read that it's procedurally generated. I, you know, there's AI that's sensitive to sound and line of sight. And, you know, you got nonlinear gameplay. You got Newtonian physics going on. You have a, you know, I didn't even get a weapon, but there is like a sophisticated like aiming system. So here I'm like aiming straight and you can like aim at any angle you want, like straight or up and you can figure out some angle in between or like down. Like there's, this is a this is a significantly advanced game for its time and you totally got to give it credit for it because you know what I think honestly if you clean this game up a little bit maybe made the menus a little more um, easier to use made it a little more directioned so not as directionless and a little more obvious what the items were and stuff but if you did those things and clean this game up this could still be a fun game today like i could totally see this type of game being like a game you know that was funded on kickstarter like a infinite space exploration game in caves or whatever um this is not like a game that is totally foreign by today's standards which is crazy when you think about it because 1988 is when it came out and i can't think of too many other games back in in that time that were kind of like this like, yeah, there were, like, rogue, uh, roguelikes and stuff, like, big exploration games that also were ahead of their time, but not with, like, the graphics and the controls and, and the, the visuals of this. Like, this just this looks damn cool, you know, uh, by retro standards. So, you know, uh, the cons of this game, I think, are that I've kind of already hinted at. It's, it's you know, uh, a little directionless at times. You know, at new players, you'll probably have to look up exactly what to do, at least to get going. But... You know, if you if you can get over some of the some of the the areas where this game's a little rougher. Oh, I can open this door, but do I want to? No, I don't. And I couldn't even flee in time. <laughs> but if you can get over like some of the sort of more obscure aspects of this game, I think this is a very neat game. And even if you don't want to play it personally, I think it just looks so damn cool that it would be a fun one to watch people explore uh, and play through because you never know what they're going to find so maybe you want to check out like a long play of this and see someone who actually beats it maybe I've piqued your curiosity um, and definitely if I ever do that with the game I highly encourage you guys to check out long plays of these things and see the whole game because they're pretty fun to check out sometimes I, I do that myself you know and I not only make videos but I watch them Anyway, guys, uh, is this a game you should play before you die? What's my final verdict? I think th this just strikes me as it's definitely. Definitely just for the fact of, like, even if you just go in and mess around with it a little bit, like I'm doing right now, it's so kind of damn interesting and neat, you know? I don't know. Like, it's, it's a neat idea for a game. It's... You know, even if it's not going to be the game that you like, you spend all Saturday beating, you have to admit it's a cool idea for a game. Here's the water, by the way, that you need to fill that glass up with, so... Anyway, uh, I think it's a great, interesting, neat little game. And of all the retro games I've ever played, it's one of the most surprisingly complex ones. So there you go. Um, guys, if you've enjoyed watching me utterly decimate this poor astronaut in this game and put him just through a world of hell, go ahead, give me a like, give me a subscribe. I will be back in a couple days with a new video and a new game. And once again, if you want to see the game that I thought was Exile, which technically is called Exile, it was just the wrong Exile. You can tune back in on Saturday, I'll be releasing that video uh, as part of my Saturday afternoon gaming uh, series, even though in the video I talk as if it's a Let's Play 1001 game, because I thought at the time it might be. But anyway, you can look forward to that. And uh, until next time, my friends, take care of yourselves, don't get stranded on any alien planets, especially, once again, if I am in control of your jetpack. And uh, peace! You poor, poor bastard.